friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. And maybe you've been wondering where I've been lately. I've been missing for a couple weeks and I'm sad to tell you that my dad passed away a couple weeks ago. So of course that's been taking a lot of my time and attention and taking care of my mom. So uh, it was an expected passing um, he fought a long fight with cancer, but doesn't make it any easier. So I thought, well, I want to get back in the saddle. And so tonight I'm going to film a thrift haul for you. Now I've had this stuff for a little while. As you may know, if you follow my channel, I'm in the middle of a kitchen remodel. So worst time ever to have your dad pass away when you're in the middle of a kitchen remodel. So things have been super crazy for us. But I just wanted to take a few minutes and film this thrift haul for you. And then I'm going to give you a kitchen update. Lots of things have been changing. And make sure you stay till the end because I will be sharing my top commenter for this video. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first items I have to share with you are from the bins. And it seems like forever ago, I went to the bins and I can't wait to go again, but I haven't really been thrifting because we're in the middle of a remodel and everything's chaotic. So let me share what I found with you. Look at this beautiful doily. I just love it. Reminds me of something my grandma would have made. Now doilies go in and out and I was tired of them for a while, but now I'm not tired of them and I'm really liking them again. So I got that and this cutie pie. Look how little and how precious it is. So I thought this would be cute hanging over a tiered tray or out of a little box or something for decor. So I got those and then are you familiar with Grove Collaborative? They have these cute little bins. I have two of them that I received as free gifts. I don't have this one, but I actually use them so far to put my chargers in for my cell phone, etc. And I just thought it was very springy looking. And if I didn't want the grove to show, I could always put it on that side. So there was that from the bins. And by the way, it was marked $4.39 from Goodwill. So I would not have paid that, but for the bins, I mean, it's not that expensive. And then the last item I picked up at the bins was this Lazy Susan. I think these are great for organizing all kinds of things. I use them outside of cupboards and inside of cupboards. I use them on top of my washing machine. I use them in the bathroom, wherever I need a little organization. I even have uh, one of them on my craft desk. So all of that was just a couple dollars. One, two, three, four items. So probably more like a dollar fifty, I'm guessing. Next, I have a grab bag. Are you a grab bag fan? I sure am. I got this grab bag and it was at one of my favorite thrift stores and it was 50 cents. So I'm going to dump it out and I will show you the items that I bought it for. This was the first item I bought it for. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. That was definitely worth 50 cents to me. And now I need your opinion. Oh, there's a couple things tangled up here. Okay, uh, this. Look at this little guy. I need your opinion. It squeaks. Is that a dog toy? <laughs> Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I don't think I care. I just think he's so cute. I'm going to display him after I give him a good clean. Okay, let's see what else I got. These cute little puppies. Maybe one of the grandkids would like those. I don't know anything about them. Hmm, maybe a mermaid or just a little doll. These are cute. I could clean all this stuff up in my dishwasher. Oh, another little puppy. If you know anything about these little puppies, let me know. Uh, this is a surprise, uh, surprise a miss. Never heard of that. Look how cute. And a little ball. And this, I actually almost thought 
It was something for my Fisher Price dollhouse and so did my friend Melody, but it's actually a little bit too big. And I actually did get the, um, the hobby horse in a bag of goodies that I bought for my dollhouse. So not sure what that was. There's a hole here to put something in. So, oh, I thought I was done. There's another little rubber, rubber ball and then some kind of a toy probably from a kid's meal. So basically I'm paying a quarter a piece for these. That's what I wanted. Okay, next I have a couple items that were given to me by a family friend named Paul. So shout out to Paul. He always thinks of me when he's cleaning out vintagey things. So check this out. Isn't it darling? It says cookies and it's like a real pale, pale yellow and um, it's a little dinged up but I don't care that adds to the character for me and there's the top so I guess it's uh, strawberries so isn't that cute and that might go on a shelf in my new kitchen I can envision it there and Paul also gave me this now I'm not going to keep it at, as is although it's darling it says ice cream flavored lollipops and it has a cow right there on the front but I thought it looked like a milk can and I could maybe give it a makeover and put it on my front porch or my back porch. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know. And then I have a couple items I got from my parents' house. I found this mirror. Oh, look at all the junk. <laughs> I told you I'm in the middle of a kitchen reno, but that's the size of it. It's just like a cheap little mirror made in China. And if you have ideas as to what I could do with that, please share in the comments below. And next, oh, this was my dad's. I just love it. I found it when I was looking through some of his things. Look how cute it is. It's a little tape measure. It says Stanley 10 feet. And it's got the cutest little tape measure. I love tape measures. I love to store them all over the house in different handy places. So I will actually use this and I could use it in a display if I wanted to. Got a couple bells from my mom. Look at this one. Isn't it cute? It's very tall, as you can see. And this was my grandma's. So I'm very happy to have that. And then I don't know where this little one came from, but it sure is cute and it has a nice ring to it. Very tiny. And so I'm gonna add that to my bell collection. The last item that I have to share with you is also from my dad. He gave me this, it was the last thing he gave me before he passed away, so it's very special. I had been wanting one of these for a long time. And um, now I'm trying to remember if I showed this before because I have two of them now. So bear with me if it's not the one from my dad, but it's one of these. Yeah, I'm thinking I already shared the one from my dad. It was the last thing I remember him giving me, but this one, my husband, I showed him the one from my dad and he said, I didn't know you wanted one of those. I've been wanting one for a long time. So he gave me this one that was in his dad's things and his dad, I never got to know. He's been passed away for years. So I have two of them, you guys. So I'm really happy about that. Now I'm going to take you down to the kitchen and I'm going to give you an update. Are you ready? I'm starting the update of my kitchen out here in my mudroom because here's our two new pantries. I am so in love with them. They were installed with the other cabinets and here's a little peek inside. I've already started putting things in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five shelves, and I'll show you how they pull out. Oops. And then you can just, when it gets so far, you just push and they go right in. I'm so excited about that. Yep, I guess that's in. <laughs> and then up top, I have one, two, three shelves, and I just threw some stuff in there for now. It's not organized yet. That'll come later. And look, they close soft. So fun. And then going through the doorway, right here is the doorway between my mudroom and my kitchen. 
my new kitchen. All right, here is where my dishwasher will go. And then there's a cabinet up above. And I have a few things in there. I've cleaned all the upper cabinets because they're done, but the lower cabinets, they still have work to do because of the countertops. This will be my sink area. And I'm so excited about the pull-out tray. This, I've never had so much room under my sink, accessible. And then up here, there's gonna be a couple shelves. I'll show you those. This is my refrigerator area. And there's a big cabinet over there. And then over here is gonna be my stove cabinetry. And then flipping you around, this area is going to be my peninsula. And up there is going to be two shelves, which I will show you. Here's our makeshift microwave. <laughs> and then these two, uh, yeah, these two shelves are the long ones. They will go over my peninsula. And then these two shelves will go right over there so let me show you let me back up here and show you an overall look this is from my den so right here will be where our dining room table will go and then over here on this wall will be where our hutch will go so everything's still a mess you can see my hutch is still in there <laughs> so yes and i have lots of lighting very bright and airy. So that is my kitchen update. Lastly, I wanna share my top commenter for this video. That just means that you got a little purple heart from YouTube because you've given me, because you've given me a lot of comments that I have replied back to with a heart. So keep commenting and maybe you will get a purple heart too. The top commenter for this video is Susan Gazaway. DIY and Susan Gazaway Cooking. She's the same lady, but she has two channels. She's the sweetest person you'd want to meet, and she does a great job with her crafting. I'm not honestly not really into cooking channels, but I would imagine her cooking is going to be just as amazing as her DIYs. I love her for her DIYs. She's so friendly, so kind, and just really a natural on camera. Um, she's been doing some thrifting lately, and I love seeing those videos. Those are my favorites. Hint, hint, Susan. <laughs> and she's always so sweet on my channel and writes the sweetest comments. So I'm going to link both of her channels below, and I hope you check her out. Thanks for being my top commenter, Susan. I hope you enjoyed my little thrift haul and my kitchen update. I'll keep updating you. I think we're two to three weeks out from it being done, and I can't wait. Of course there's little details at the end like I still have to paint and we'll have touch up and stuff like that but to be able to cook in my own kitchen again is going to be wonderful if you'd like to follow me on Instagram I'll link that below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye